indeed, James, we've managed to find a hyena at the den. Now, I can hear the little ones are calling inside, but I'm not sure that this is Ribbon, to be honest. I can't see nicely. She's kind of facing away from me at the moment, and all I've got is a back end. So, I think what I'm going to do is just see if she doesn't come back round. If she doesn't, I might go in position on the other side, because if the little ones come out, I know there's an exit point at the back, and they might have run out that way. So, just quickly going to check and if I can't see anything then we'll go around but it looks like they settled on the other side but it's really interesting to see what's going on at this den how we've got so many different hyenas coming in in the last few days it's really really exciting to see what's going to happen and who's going to be here and whether or not madam and the rest are going to start actually spending their time here and potentially having their young ones in this area but isn't it exciting? I always love coming to this hyena den. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Hello. So we've got... I'm not sure who this is now lying on the road. I'm not very good with the hyenas at the moment. I've been trying to study up on them and trying to see and kind of to work out who is who. But I'm not 100% sure exactly which is which. And look at that big yawn. Now this is an old female. She's got quite tatty ears. The teeth are quite worn down as well. But there we go. Just getting a little bit more comfy. Isn't that the most peaceful sight you've seen? Perfect. A Sunday afternoon nap. And this hyena seems to have got it perfectly down pat. So, Riti, you're saying this is the first time you've seen Naina on a live drive. Well, Riti, if you've got any questions, remember you can ask on hashtag SafariLive on Twitter, and we'll try and answer them for you. But they are incredible animals. This morning we had a magical sighting. We came to the den here, and we ended up having this incredible sunrise the light was this pink purple color and the hyenas were all lying around so we've been getting quite lucky with them recently and now with the den being here and these other hyenas that have found the den they are starting to spend more time here it's encouraging it means that hopefully we're going to get some really good sightings of hyena over the next few months around this area it's really really good news to see that the matriarch madam who is the leader of this clan has been seen here a few times and so, oh, your lip is stuck in your tooth. <laughs> now, hyenas are one of my favorite because they've got so much character. And you can see the way that she's got her face at the moment. She does look quite dopey, doesn't she? You must fix your lip, girl. So, you can see <laughs> her lip is all crunched up inside there. She's got it caught on her lower canine. Not on this side, but on the other side. But it's giving her this silly expression. She looks all too dopey at this stage but isn't that amazing really really good to see so like i say the den seems to be active there seems to be the young ones are calling from inside so i'm hoping they're going to actually come out and we're going to be able to see them and we're going to see some interaction of the little cubs with all the older bigger adults that will be absolutely incredible but i still haven't seen ribbon i don't think she's here at the moment i might be wrong but i think she's somewhere in this area so hopefully she'll come and then the little ones will definitely come out if ribbon's not around then they tend to try and sit inside the den now we're going to go into tv so i'm just going to keep quiet Welcome back everybody, we're coming to you live from South Africa and as you can see we've got a beautiful hyena behind us. Now remember this is interactive so you can use hashtag safari live on Twitter and ask us any questions that you may have about this spotted beauty. Now she is just lying down and resting so she is taking it very very easy for this Sunday afternoon. So. That's our TV welcome back. Hopefully we did a good job. For those of you that are out there, you can let us know if we did okay. Now, I see another little one has come past. I wonder if this is not January. So there was another little one here this morning, and that looks like it could be January. I might be wrong. I know Chris and Crystal, you both know the hyena quite well. So I'm not sure if one of you is watching, and you can let me know exactly which hyenas we have here. It would be nice to know. I'm trying my best to learn them, but... It's all quite a lot to take in.
So, Crystal, you say the oldest female is Madame the Matriarch. Now, Crystal, I wonder if you can tell me if this is Madame lying over here for me that's curled up, that's all kind of looking quite sedate and taking it very, very easy. Ah, so, this is the one that you did ID. Thank you very much for that, Crystal. I can see she's been around the block a little bit, Madame. She's got tatty little ears. You can see there's a few little cuts and scrapes and... There's a little bit of graying around the eyes, and those teeth are a bit more worn, but she's a beautiful girl. She's nice and big and bulky, and she's got a really deep, rich color coat, which is quite unusual, because generally when hyenas get a little bit older, they almost tend to fade a little bit. Their spots don't come nearly as bright, um, and they, the coat color tends to become a lot more sort of gray in coloration. But she's got a beautiful, rich color to her, and you can see there nicely why they're called spotted hyenas, with all those little dark dots all over their body. Isn't that amazing? You can see you've got a few pieces of grass there, my girl. You might have to clean yourself up a little bit before you get going this evening. But it really is encouraging that she's here. It means that she's completely happy to spend time around the den. The fact that I can hear the little ones means that she hasn't evicted them out and we haven't got a situation where Ribbon unfortunately has to go find somewhere else because the matriarch has now come in. We must remember that Ribbon, who's the mother of these cubs in the den, She's not a high-ranking female, so she's one of the sort of mid to low-ranking females. And so if potentially Madam wanted to give birth, she could hypothetically remove Ribbon from this area and take it for herself. But she hasn't, and it seems like they've accepted this as their new den site. And now they are lying here because this is now the third time that we've seen Madam at the den, which is really, really incredible. So I'm super, super happy that she's here, and I want to get to know all of these little ones a lot more. Now... Talking about spotted animals, I believe James has got a spotted animal of his own on foot. So let's go across to James and see what he's doing.